Five techniques from McGregor versus Poirier 2. Many were surprised by the outcome, but it can be explained with the interaction of a few different techniques. Number one, of course, Poirier's frequent and critical use of the low kick. Dustin landed quite a number. This was a strategic counter against the wide and lead foot heavy stance. Without his mobility, Connor is much easier to pressure. And when he doesn't have space, Connor is much less dangerous. Two, McGregor's left, while scary, frequently leans right and leaves him vulnerable. Three, Connor's up jab or corkscrew uppercut, which again leaves his head hanging out there. Four, Poirier's educated check hook or counter hook. The right hook served to close the door on the exchange and gave Dustin some of his best shots consistently. And five, though relatively infrequent compared to the rest, Poirier's shifting attacks. This takedown starts as a shifting punch. The left foot gets the outside. Dustin drives and drives. Turns the hips. Looks like he's going for an outside trip, but he misses it. Nope. He just replants the foot and drives to finish the takedown. After this, McGregor was very wary of the shift and gave Poirier lots of space whenever he showed it. And this final exchange we have got to talk about. Connor, again pressuring, up jab, straight lands, Dustin centers up and lands a left low kick again. Connor tries to counter with the two and the uppercut and Dustin counters again with the three. One does not see a fighter just swivel in place and let their opponent get the inside of the ring very often, but that's what exactly happened here. Dustin circles out and has a spring in his step to get back into the action. I love it. Now Dustin has the mobility advantage, the positioning advantage, the technical or tactical advantage with that hook, and perhaps most importantly for this moment, initiative. Connor is thinking defensively. One, two, three. Dustin takes space. Two, three. He takes space. A flurry of hooks. Connor slips the outside and sends a two. And this is probably his last hope. It lands, but is simply not enough. Dustin continues with a barrage of hooks. He loads up his left and actually finds his way through. Dustin continues and notice how he's in a square stance here. He is primed to throw hooks and move laterally. Connor tries to circle out. Dustin follows and immediately throws a right hook. But this time it's not going for the head. It's maybe 15 centimeters lower and lands on the face. The rest were details. We will be putting out studies like this regularly, so if you have any requests, let us know. If you haven't already, body hook that subscribe button and jab that little bell icon. You can also find us on Instagram and TikTok at We Love MMA, and you can watch more than 700 fights at WeLoveMMA.com.